Investing for Beginners, 2023. Hey, are you tired of digging through your couch cushions for loose change? Want to turn those pennies into something bigger? Then this video is for you. Look, the investment world can feel like a jungle with stocks, shares, crypto, NFTs, and more all competing for your attention. But don't worry, we won't leave you wandering like a lost hiker in the wilderness. Our ultimate guide to investing for beginners is here to show you the way. And by the time we're done, you'll be investing like a pro. We'll break down all the confusing jargon, spill the tea on insider tips, and even teach you the secret handshake for getting into the exclusive club of the rich and famous. So let's do this. Get ready to turn your couch change into some serious cash. To make sure you have a smooth ride watching this video, we have divided this guide into four parts namely, the basics of investing, how to get started, investing strategies, and how to avoid common investing mistakes. It's going to be a crazy ride, so gear up and let's get started. Part 1. The Basics of Investing Investing is like planting a money seed and watching it grow into a money tree. Except, it's not that simple. It's more like planting a money seed and hoping it doesn't get eaten by squirrels or struck by lightning. But despite the risks, investing is an important part of personal finance and can help individuals achieve their financial goals. Saving and investing may seem similar, but they're as different as apples and oranges. Or should we say, apples and apple stock. While saving involves stashing money away for a rainy day, investing involves putting your money to work and potentially earning a return on an investment. Just be careful not to invest in something that turns out to be a lemon. There are many types of investments to choose from, each with its own pros and cons. Stocks, for example, offer the potential for high returns, but also come with greater risk. It's like the saying goes, high risk, high reward, and high stress when the market dips. On the other hand, bonds offer a more conservative option for those who prefer a lower risk investment and don't mind a lower return. Real estate can also be a lucrative investment, but it requires a lot of money up front and a willingness to deal with tenants who may or may not take care of your property. Commodities like gold and oil can offer protection against inflation, but their value can be just as unpredictable as a toddler's mood. In the end, investing is a personal decision that should be based on an individual's financial goals, risk tolerance, and personal circumstances. So do your research, seek professional advice, and diversify your investments. And who knows? Maybe one day you'll be able to retire to your own private island. Or at least a really nice RV. Part 2. How to get started. Getting started with investing can seem intimidating, but don't worry, it's not rocket science. Unless you're investing in SpaceX, of course. Here are some tips to help you get started. Before diving in, it's important to set clear investment goals. If your goal is to become a millionaire overnight, you might want to reconsider because investing is more of a marathon than a sprint. Whether you're saving for retirement, a down payment on a house, or a child's education, Having a specific goal in mind can help you stay focused and motivated. Determining your risk tolerance is also important. If you're the type of person who stresses out about a penny on the ground, high-risk investments might not be for you. On the other hand, if you're the type of person who takes pleasure in bungee jumping, skydiving, and swimming with sharks, high-risk investments might be right up your alley. Understanding your risk tolerance will help you create an investment portfolio that aligns with your financial goals and comfort level. There are different types of investment accounts to consider, including brokerage accounts, individual retirement accounts, IRAs, and employer-sponsored retirement plans such as 401ks. Each type of account has its own benefits and drawbacks, so it's important to research your options and choose the one that best fits your needs. You also have to pay close attention when choosing a reputable brokerage firm because it will affect the quality of advice and support you receive as an investor. Look for firms that are registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, and have a track record of positive reviews and satisfied clients. Consider factors such as fees, account minimums, investment options, and customer service when making your decision. Here are some additional tips to help you get started. Start small. 
and gradually increase your investments over time. Diversify your portfolio by investing in different asset classes and industries. Regularly review and rebalance your portfolio to ensure that it remains aligned with your goals and risk tolerance. Stay informed about market trends and economic conditions that may impact your investments. By taking a thoughtful and strategic approach to investing, you can create a portfolio that helps you achieve your financial goals and build long-term wealth. Part 3. Investing Strategies There are different investing strategies that investors can use to achieve their financial goals. Some popular strategies include value investing, growth investing, and index fund investing. Value investing involves buying stocks that are undervalued by the market based on their financial metrics, such as the price-to-earnings ratio or price-to-book ratio. The goal is to find stocks that are trading at a discount to their intrinsic value and hold them until the market recognizes their true worth. One drawback of the strategy is that it can be time-consuming and requires extensive research to identify undervalued stocks. Growth investing involves buying stocks and companies that are expected to experience rapid growth in earnings or revenue in the future. These companies typically reinvest their earnings back into the business rather than paying dividends. One benefit of the strategy is the potential for high returns, but it also comes with a higher risk of volatility. Index fund investing involves buying a diversified portfolio of stocks or bonds that tracks a specific market index, such as the S&P 500, this strategy offers low fees, broad diversification, and the potential for long-term growth. One potential drawback is that index funds may not outperform the market, and investors may miss out on individual stock opportunities. Successful investors have used different strategies to achieve their financial goals. For example, Warren Buffett is a well-known value investor who has achieved great success by buying undervalued stocks of high-quality companies. Peter Lynch, Another successful investor used a growth investing strategy to achieve high returns by investing in companies with strong growth potential. Ultimately, the best investing strategy depends on an individual's financial goals, risk tolerance, and time horizon. You have to research and understand different strategies before choosing one that aligns with your goals and values. Part 4. Avoiding Common Investing Mistakes Investing can be a powerful tool for building wealth, but it's important to avoid common mistakes that can derail your financial goals. Here are some common investing mistakes that beginners make and how to avoid them. 1. Failing to diversify Investing all your money in one stock or asset class can be risky because it exposes you to the volatility of a single investment. Diversification is the practice of investing in a variety of assets to spread out risk. By investing in different types of stocks, bonds, and other assets, you can reduce the impact of any single investment on your portfolio. 2. Trying to time the market Market timing is the practice of trying to buy and sell investments based on predictions about the market. However, research has shown that it's nearly impossible to consistently time the market. Instead of trying to predict the future, focus on building a diversified portfolio that can weather market ups and downs over the long term. 3. Ignoring fees. Fees can eat into your investment returns over time. It's important to understand the fees associated with your investments, including management fees, transaction fees, and expense ratios. Look for low-cost index funds and EFTs that offer broad diversification and low fees. 4. Emotionally driven decisions. Investing can be emotional especially during market downturns. However, making investment decisions based on fear or greed can be costly. Stick to your investment plan and avoid making impulsive decisions based on short-term market fluctuations. 5. Failing to rebalance Over time, the performance of different investments in your portfolio will vary. Rebalancing involves periodically adjusting your portfolio to maintain your desired asset allocation. By rebalancing regularly, you can avoid taking on too much risk or missing out on potential gains. 6. Overconfidence Investing can be empowering, but overconfidence can lead to excessive risk-taking and poor investment decisions. Stay humble and seek out the advice of trusted financial professionals when making investment decisions. 
Avoiding these common investing mistakes can help you achieve your financial goals and build long-term wealth. By taking a disciplined and thoughtful approach to investing, you can create a portfolio that aligns with your goals and risk tolerance. You have to stay focused on the long-term and avoid making impulsive decisions based on short-term market fluctuations. With time and patience, you can build a successful investment strategy that helps you achieve financial security and reach your financial goals. Well, guys, we have come to the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed our riveting presentation on investing. And by riveting, we mean we hope you didn't doze off halfway through. Sure enough, investing can be a roller coaster ride. But don't worry, you won't need a barf bag. Just remember to buckle up and hold on tight. And if you're feeling lost or confused, don't be afraid to ask for help. We promise we won't judge you. Okay, maybe not too much. And don't forget, the most important thing about investing is to have a sense of humor. When the market takes a dive, just laugh it off and enjoy the ride. After all, you can't control the market, but you can control your reaction to it. We encourage everyone to consider investing as part of their overall financial plan regardless of their income or experience level. Thank you for watching, and we hope this video has helped you understand the benefits and considerations of investing. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content on personal finance and investing.